Hi! So, I got a second making videos because I feel really awkward making videos when someone else is in the house and my dad is always home, so yeah. And then when I finally make a video, I don't like how it turns out and no one uploaded, so. Anyways, I spun some yarn. I found some wool at a weaving festival thing and I just had to buy it and then I made myself a spindle out of a wood thingy, a hook thingy, and a cardboard thingy, I don't know. It's not like the best yarn, it's my first yarn, but I like it and it's really really orange so I'm gonna make a hat and then add some green at the top to make leaves so it's a carrot hat. I'm currently working on a color affection. I'm on the edge and the rows are like 400 stitches long. <gasps> but it's close to the end. And then I have to bind off all those stitches. That will be fun. One of my FOs since I last made a video is this solution shawl. It's the second solution I made and this is the first one. If I thought the color had something to do with gender, I would say that I had one boy and one girl solution, but... I really hate it when people are like, Oh, my friend is having a baby. I don't know what kind it is, so we need to make something gender neutral. Anyways, I made my second solution with yarn from Unwind Yarn Company. I also got a shawl kit from Unmine Yarn Company. It's for the By the Sea shawl. Look what colorway it is. Dana from Unwind Yarn Company included a stitch marker with my first yarn. It's from Vegan Design. Uh, who is Swedish Rose, and I was like, Swedish Rose, she must be a Swedish person. And it was, and I bought some more stitch markers. I also found another Swedish person who is really cool and dyes self-striping yarn. I've never knit with a truly self-striping yarn, so that's going to be fun. And uh, I think I'm going to make a few pairs of socks in October or Socktober, as we like to call it. I like buying things from indie people. It's nice to know that you're supporting someone uh, who's making things by hand, and it's nice to know that someone made this by hand. So, let me know in the comments if you've made any cool knitting related purchases lately, and until next time, keep calm and knit on.